Hello everyone, my name is Isabel and in today's video we are going to talk about my 2023 planner. Hi, so um, bear with me for a bit because I am still kind of recover recovering from some sickness. Um, luckily it's not the C word nor the flu word, the flu or RSV. I actually just got a notification from my work saying that I was um, negative to all of those tests that I did yesterday. So luckily I have none of those, but unfortunately I'm still experiencing some sickness, but I just want to <clears throat> kind of create a video. Um, again, I know um, in the titles for my 2023 planner, I usually actually make these videos, you know, towards the end of the year. Um, I just want to show you guys like what I use, and, you know, maybe to kind of some give you some ideas on, you know, obviously there's different types of planner out there, and I just want to share with you guys what I use. So without further ado, let's get started with my 2023 planner. So actually, before all of that though, I just want to show you guys a comparison of my current planner to my new planner. So for my current planner for 2022, I bought the um, Commit 30 planner and I will put down the link below for um, the video that I did for that. Um, it's all the review and everything, but it's definitely thicker compared to this new one that I have. Or, I mean, it could also be because um, I did like these, um, what should I call this? This like bookmarks and stuff, which I bought up from Amazon. Um, <clears throat> I did like it. I mean, over, I guess my overall review for this 2022 <laughs> planner of mine is that, um, you know, it did work for when I was using it. But the thing is, towards my birthday in July, my fiance gifted me a super note, which is <clears throat> this one right here. So it's basically like a digital notebook. So after a couple months of using this, I kind of tried to venture out into digital digital planner, but that didn't work for me because um, historically I'm a paper and pen type person. I do like it as a notebook, but I kind of don't like it as a planner. Um, but then I got distracted and everything, so I wasn't able to use this, um, unfortunately, <clears throat> like towards the end. But I like it for what it is. Um, I just don't think that, I think I'm going back to a much more simpler planner wherein, you know, it's just the dates and then the weekly things and then um, <clears throat> nothing in between or like, not that I don't want to set some goals, but I can just put those goals into my, probably my super note and just stick to um, the planner as being just, you know, a day-to-day -day kind of thing. So that's my review. Um, again, if you guys want to know further on what this planner <coughs> looks like inside, I'm so sorry, I've been like coughing, but I have to make this videos for you guys because I apologize for not being able to upload like the past couple of weeks, or at least the past week. But yes, um, go watch that video below. So now moving on to my 2023 planner. All right, so for my 2023 planner, this is what it looks like. So first things first, this is a, um, sorry, I had to grab the this one sticking out. So it is by Jen Hewitt. She's a designer, I believe. So she designed this planner. Um, I think it was probably like a collaborative work with Target. Um, yeah, I bought this um, from Target. It is technically a Blue Sky planner, which is <clears throat> honestly, I have used Blue Skies before um, when, you know, for like cheap planners. And honestly, they're good quality too. So. I wouldn't even say they're like even though if it's cheap like it's still good quality so I don't really mind that and this is the inside and as you can see it looks like 
a flower or a clover, however you guys want to um, describe that. And then there's 2023 um, graving there. Um, and then this is what the design looks like. So cute. And yeah, what caught me is mostly the simplicity of it and the color as well because I like the color blue. So <laughs> that's why. And um, yeah, I bought this from Target. It was $11.99. So pretty good. Um, when you open it, there's that. And they only have one of uh, this ribbon marker. Um, which is fine. I don't really honestly usually use that if there's any extra. And as you guys can see here, so there's this, um, her background and all that. And here, this is the calendar for 2023 and 2024. And as you guys can see, I have already put in some marks in there. Um, basically some birthdays, anniversaries, um, like uh, my work schedule and all that stuff. So it's up to you on how you want to use this calendar page right here. And going here is basically, uh, first things first, we have the contacts. So like usually, um, if it was me, I would put like any maintenance, um, the number from like maintenance people that does your house or if you live in an apartment, maybe your um, the, um, the leasing office phone number and stuff like that. Um, yeah, all of those necessary contact details, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then we have in here next is the important dates. So I don't know if you guys can read my handwriting. Um, there's still some post-its that I need to figure out on the birthday of someone. And yeah, it's just really very neat and efficient for me to, um, especially like, let's say if vacation dates and stuff like that I can just put it in this um, section right here and then uh, right on to the next page there's this layout of the first month already so the month of January and it has yellow um, color font which is fine I'm not really necessarily a big fan of yellow but that's fine <clears throat> and then it starts from Sunday and ends on Saturday and then there's this some linings here usually I, I plan to maybe just put the monthly tasks that I need to do and then there's this grid line as well I'm still trying to figure out on what I would want to put in there and then they also have the month for the next month um, printed here at the bottom so you can kind of you know see what's um, when's that date and all that stuff uh, which is very handy and yeah, usually I would put my work schedule here. Um, this one is just a sample. And then if like for birthdays, um, anniversaries, or any special dates that I need to remember. So I kind of reference it from the previous page, which is the important dates. And then I kind of just transfer it here. So one of the things that I, I guess I kind of want to include in this video as well is how I do um, my planning for the rest of the year um, basically again simple as that is that first thing whenever I see sections like this I would kind of like put marks for like again essential birthdays just so I can know oh what's what's for that date again what's happening on the fifth why is it circled out and then I just kind of reference it on the other pages so I think it's that one is a good thing to do when you're once you have your planner before the start of the next year, you try to plan out like all those necessary things, especially, um, you know, at work when you have to request for, you know, days off and all that, at least you know what day do those special dates fall in. Um, you can kind of plan around that. And then every month, so um, before, you know, before the new month comes in, I would already put in like the birthdays, um, the special dates um, in here. And then if there's any like bigger task that I know I need to accomplish for that month, I also put it in here. So I guess examples for it. So you know how you have to clean your washer like maybe um, quarterly, 
um, and then also your dishwasher too. You know you have to maintain that, right? Um, and then also the filter laundry is different and you have to do that about every two months. So when you start to have a house or um, any or any type of property that you have, you know you have to maintain, you kind of need to know about these things because otherwise you would pay more money if you don't maintain them properly basically and also like if um like let's say if my car registration falls on january 2 i would definitely put that in to make sure you know to budget for that if you haven't budgeted for it yet and all that stuff so it's very important i always use almost always usually do that before the start of the next year just so every time i go you know to the start of the month i would see oh that's right i need to remind myself to do that so that's the important thing to do right and then the next page right here after the the month page then we go to the weekly pages so again since um january 1st starts on a sunday so they kind of included some days from december um the, like the last couple of days of december in here um this one i still don't know they're just dotted lines so I might just maybe put my goals for that month or, or actually for the week um, or any other such reminders. I'm still trying to figure out myself what I would put in these dates. So that's, um, but I'm just showing you guys the outline. So again, it starts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the weekends are both outlined in here. So same thing with the rest of the pages. So after that, then it goes to um, the month of February. Hold on. <laughs> so this is that. So basically there's no like transition page between the last day of January to the next month, which is February. And I will also do the same thing as well. But that's basically the outline for this planner. Um, towards the end, so let me show it to you guys. So this is for the last week of December of 2023. So it goes straight to the notes section. So again, I have my post-it in here as a reminder for me. But basically, these are all just notes. I think there may be like a good, like maybe 10 pages of this kind of format notes. And what I have like as suggestions that I would want to place in the notes pages would be one, and I've done this before also in my previous planner. And I actually like to do it because it keeps, um, um, like it keeps me reminded of the things that I would want to do or would want um, would want to read and all that. So different suggestions would be one is um, I want to list down all the books that I have read, maybe like every month, or maybe the books like book recommendations that I would want to read in the future, or someone mentioned it to me. That's what I would want to do. Um, new food places or new places to hang out um, in our area, or maybe. For the city that uh, we're traveling to, um, I usually like to put that in the notes section. And then gift ideas, that one does really, I mean, to be honest though, I have not used that page, but I know it's a good idea because sometimes, you know, you, keep, you lost track of like what your friend said that they want to have, and then maybe you would want to give something as a gift. So besides gift ideas, um, also I do like to put the new movies or new series that I watch, that my fiance and I watch together, and also, um, of course, recommendations. Those are good to put as well. And then last but not the least, this one is probably something that I don't think maybe a lot of people do, but I also would like to put or list down some nonprofit organizations that you basically want to donate your money to, or maybe you want to volunteer your free time with. Um, I do like to put that, especially all of the, you know, the locals, local nonprofit organizations in our area, because 
obviously you would um uh they're more they're more easily to reach out to compared to like if they're in a different area or something so that's and really i would want to you know support local basically so i also keep track of like the donations that i've given to for the year um you know to help also with the tax and you know just to keep track of everything so um yeah those are the things that i usually put for these different notes sections so and sometimes if i just have anything like a dump um you know if i have any ideas that i just want to dump into the notebook then i also put a section for that but overall this is what the planner is very simple um again i find myself in like a i'm really a paper type paper and pen type of person but i know times change and so i do kind of i do also want that idea of saving you know mother nature mother earth and you know if i can contribute to um you know less trees being cut um i do want to do that so but i would say this is probably um i guess my compromise with bit with the digital notes taking and then probably this is the only pen and paper that i would want to keep from now on like basically just planners um, because i don't know planners are different at least for me i know some of you guys would understand that um but i just really like note taking and having that that the smell of the paper and the the feeling of a natural pen so that's that so yeah i hope that you guys um, I've given you idea on how your 2023 20, planner should look like. If you just want a simple thing like this, um, yeah, I definitely recommend that you guys just go to Target. Obviously, Target has many, many choices with regards to planners, and they're cheaper than, you know, the usual, um, the other, like, special planners. Um, if you guys don't want anything, like, extra in your planner, then I think definitely just try to stick to like target planners or maybe walmart planners as well too but if you want something fancier um if you want some things for a change then there's definitely obviously um choices online out there but yeah and if you guys are interested to know more like on how i do my i guess my budget planning and all that stuff i know this video is not personal finance related but i just always want to kind of update you guys every year on what planner i use because i love planners um yeah please stay tuned so like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you guys will be notified as soon as i upload my new video and so with that said i hope that you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next one bye